So in that last video with the lettering applique, I have a ink stitch friend that called me out for not having the last layer be a satin stitch. And I gotta say, he is exactly correct on that. So my friend Gus he does have a YouTube channel for ink stitch. I recommend you go check it out. He's got some really good stuff there and I will have the link in the description for this video so on with the show i'm going to do a real quick real quick visualize in case it's been a minute since you watched the last video we're going to get caught back up so i'm going to show trims and stops does a layer stops it so you can put your fabric down does the next one you can stop it so you can cut the fabric out and then the last one will do a uh, wide stitch to hold it down. This is the one he called me out on, which is right. This one should be a satin stitch. So we'll do that now. And just as a side note, if your machine does not recognize stop commands or if the extension that you're saving it as doesn't hold those those commands what you can do select the path and change the color and you can do that by dragging these down to the stroke color you can leave that one black make that one red drag it down leave that one black get to the next one now what i'm going to do here show you that you can use the shift can the shift button you can shift click we'll do this one as a different one shift click changes the stroke color we'll leave that one black shift click so yeah, that's all you want to do just the underlying the overlay you don't necessarily want to do that because you want it to go ahead and finish it on out ink stitch does have a automatic i'm going to hide these two just for the moment Okay, Ink Stitch does have an automatic satin tool, satin, create satin, yeah. And uh, convert line to satin, so we'll give that a shot. Nice. So if everything went according to plan, we shouldn't have to do a whole lot of fixing. But it's not perfect. As you can see, like this right here, what is this? Let's see what this is. It's the end of one, beginning of another one. Highlight it. It's probably going to complain about this rung right here, I'm guessing. So, let's just go ahead and zoom out. We'll take this topmost path, do a troubleshoot. Oh yeah, oh yeah, as you can see, oh yeah, all right, rungs don't intersect rails, okay, this one's going to be easy to fix, this one, it's going to be as simple as doing that, and turn that snap off, thank you. Okay, okay, this rung is actually intersecting two, so we're going to zoom way in, and we're going to pull it off of that one. And just that little bit should work. This one, can't quite tell what's going on there. So I'm going to have to I'm gonna hide that troubleshoot section there. Okay, this one's crossing too. I 
think. Let's just, no, I won't do that. I just want that one. I'm going to pull this down. And then this one. It's going to be hard to fix. Oops. Uh, what is that? That is part of the G. Let's pull these away a little bit. Okay, now I can see what's going on. I'm going to hit control and mouse wheel and join those together. Now I can see what's going on. So we want that one to cross one and we want that one to cross one. So we're going to pull this over, pull this over, pull this over, pull this over. And we'll let this one cross there. And this one cross there. Okay. Phew. That was ugly. All right. This one's probably going to be an issue. This one's going to be an issue. This one's crossing two. Can't have that. Okay. Remember, rungs can only cross once, but they have to cross once. Is that the one I fixed? Yeah. Okay, now over here. Okay, I want a whole bunch of these. I'll pull this whole side off of that other one. And I did that with the uh, holding the control button, left control button, and mouse wheeling. That's how I did that. So this one is crossing too. I'm going to pull that over. This one is crossing two. Oh wow, we might have fixed this one. I'm going to control click with this pointer tool. That selects the whole, that whole thing. I'm gonna troubleshoot just the G. Bingo. This is a little bit of a mess. So what we'll do here, just hover over, control mouse wheel. I'm gonna join those. Don't need that many. Is that supposed to be a rung? What is that? I don't know what that is. And strange. Just deleting. That's all. Okay. Uh, mouse wheel trick again. Join. Pull that a little straighter. Phew. Mouse wheel trick again. Join. What I wanted. Okay. And join. Delete. Okay. Now, so the moral of the story is sometimes when you do the automatic, you have to fix stuff. Yeah.
Okay, that should look a little better. Just the G. Troubleshoot. All good. All right. Okay. Yellows won't break us. There, 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 there. Whew, there's a lot in this one. Delete that troubleshoot layer. Okay. This one's kind of the same problem. Okay, this one's telling us it's not intersecting rails because I have this one up here that this side's intersecting and this one down here that this side is intersecting. That's why it's giving us an error. So, fix that real quick. Not a problem. Grab those three. Join them together. Scoot that up. Move that up. And over. And we'll just keep pulling them, pulling them to us as needed. Grab this, pull it back over. That one's fixed. So this one's pretty much the same thing as the other G. I'll show you a trick. Let's get rid of this delete. I mean, troubleshoot. Okay, I'm going to cheat. I'm going to select all of the G paths which is these three and I'm going to delete it so now I'm going to select all of this G path when you do a uh, automatic automatic satin stitch especially on lettering it will parse it into parts so I'm going to control D and duplicate that and then I'm going to drag it over here and put it in place.
Okay, I'm going to do a troubleshoot on the whole shebang. feel like I'm pretty close. But I can see one right there. Yep. Scooter in. Let's get that one. That's just off the rail, that's all. Delete. Didn't really check the rest of the rest of them, but we'll check it. There could have been others. And I just overlooked it. Oh. All shapes are valid. So let's check this out. All this work. To pay off in. The reward for all of the hard work. Nice beautiful satin stitch to hold down. The cut fabric of an applique. I don't know why it run the second one right here but I'm still just going to call this one done thanks for watching